Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Vertimax Buy Podcast. My name is Al Merez. I want to be your host once again here today and being joined by IT, the community liaison from Team Vertimax. IT, thank you for joining us, man. Glad to be here. Today, we're going to move on and, and talk a little bit about benefits to Vertimax training um, for volleyball teams and how you can maximize you know, using our equipment in your training, um, you know, whether you're a youth volleyball club, a high school team, a high school club, or, you know, one of the many professional clubs that are out there and Olympic teams that actually use our equipment. So um, we've had everyone from Kerry Walsh and, and, you know, sand volleyball to Spain's Olympic team and, you know, down to youth teams. So it's a very flexible tool. Um, both platforms and Raptors, so we'll kind of hit on both. But essentially, the training is, is is pretty similar, whether you're off off platform with the the B series or you're using a Raptor. Um, only main difference being like jump training when we get to the platform. We'll talk about that. But before I get ahead of myself, let's go ahead and, and start this thing off at the top, and um, we're going to go through five main benefits to how it can help your team. First one being the the ability to train multiple athletes at one time yeah when <clears throat> when you're training multiple athletes you're being most efficient with your time um we talked about organization uh recently but but this allows you to put five athletes in really a circuit and work them um simultaneously whether that's via uh you know timed uh stations or having certain drills being done with each band so um, being able to train to train multiple athletes is, is just going to change the dynamics of your practice because you don't have to wait for uh, it's not a, it's not a, a piece of equipment that you have to wait for one person to finish using it before others can jump on. So it just makes your uh, your sessions more efficient, really. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, we have teams that use it in a couple of different ways. Right. You'll have some teams that will have half the team out on the court doing skills and drills why the other team is doing some vertimax training over on the side or you know the entire team can rotate in on on one or two units and then you can kind of move from the performance stuff to the to the skills and drills so a couple different ways it really depends on how the coach wants to fit it into his program right yeah all right the next thing you can do or the next benefit is being able to train position specific movements yeah <clears throat> so you have um spikers people who, people who spike the ball you have blockers you have servers you have um uh, liberos who have to be able to dig the ball out so you can really accomplish all of that simultaneously uh while you're doing your team training with with like position specific movements so whether you're shuffling and and bumping or passing the ball to uh someone else whether you are doing an approach jump uh and trying to maximize your your vertical jump, whether you're on the platform and doing jumps, there's there's you can you can develop drills and be creative with what you want your um, athletes to accomplish, and even to the point like you can drill down to your specific athlete, and if you know that that person uh, needs to work on something specific, you can craft a drill around their weakness, so to speak, and and help them improve it in the midst of your practice session. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So whether that's very specific position stuff or specific athlete stuff, or just kind of leading to the next point is just elevating kind of the drills and skills that you already are doing in practice. This just helps you make it a little bit more, more challenging. Yeah. And I, and I think athletes appreciate that. I think the resistance, um, they, they believe and they are, they get like, one thing that I do with with sorry, I, do, I do demos with with Vertimax. I do that here as as part of my duties as Vertimax, but I also do that when I'm doing my own personal training. And and one of the the biggest sellers is if I do a demo with a kid, they go through the a, a brief 20, 30 minute workout, and they know that they are getting better when they're on the equipment. And that's a selling point in itself. So when you when you incorporate the Vertimax into your practice and you allow your athletes to use it, they know they are getting better with the equipment. And so that is is a motivation in itself. So not only are you 
adding resistance to drills that you maybe commonly do without resistance, um, but it, it brings up the level of excitement within your team, within your organization when you get, when you, when you roll out that Vertimax. So, oh, yeah, I know I've talked to many coaches personally that tell me how excited their team gets when they know that they're pulling out the Vertimax to use that day for stuff. Sometimes it's a love hate relationship because they, they, they love it because they feel they're getting better, but it hurts, you know, sometimes it hurts <laughs> to get better, you know? So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and speaking of hurting, the next point we're going to talk about is developing maximum vertical explosiveness. Yes. So, yeah, the Vertimax the platform V-series, um, it allows you to train your arm swing as well. So um, it's it accounts for 10 to 13 percent of your max vertical jump. Obviously, jumping is important in volleyball. I mean, uh, you're, you're trying to play above the net. You're trying to um, block people. You're trying to make sure that your, your spikes are not uh, diggable or returnable. Uh, and so jumping plays a huge role in, in all of that. So, yeah, it's going to help develop the maximum potential for your, your, your athletes. Yeah, it's a, definitely a great jump training tool. And then the last point is just being able to experiment with new drills and new teams. So if you're a volleyball team and you're trying to get out of a rut or you're trying to work on something very specifically, like Vertimax can help you do that because of the creativity that it allows, right? Yeah. And and creativity is a, um, a very necessary uh, piece to develop because – not everything can be prepackaged and given to you and it'll work as it as you may think it should. And so the ability to fine tune certain aspects and to adapt it for your specific players is going to be an important, uh, important to have. So like I like like you were saying, if you see a need and you see an opportunity with with an athlete, then go ahead and try make put a spin on on the drill and try it out. It may not work. It may crash and burn <laughs> terribly, but it may be uh, the key that you were looking for to ignite your whole team. So, yeah. Yeah. So using the various uh, attachments, whether it's the 360 belt and being able to, to you know, move around the entire cord or ankle straps or hip flexors and doing like high knee drive. Like there's just different ways that you can add resistance to your athletes to, to you know, produce a desired result. Yeah, and speaking specifically to like the ankle straps, like because you know people will use a three hundred and sixty belts because um, that's kind of more of the norm, right? But and it's good, it's great. Like use the three hundred and sixty belts, but also find time to use those additional accessories that you were talking about, like the ankle straps, working on that first step quickness. Like a libero is going to need to be able to move all around the court, um, and having them be a step faster, a step quicker once they recognize where the ball's going is going to ultimately help you help them. So, Absolutely. Well, good, man. Well, well thank you, IT. Those are uh, the five benefits of, of team training with the Vertimax equipment. And uh, if you're looking for more, there, you know, we have plenty more to offer. There's uh, our Vertimax app where you can find a lot more volleyball drills, volleyball programming. Um, if you haven't downloaded that, please do. It's in the app store. It's at vertimaxapp.com if you're on, on a website or if you're on a computer. Um, and obviously, I, you can check out social media too. There's the Vertimax volleyball that's out there that has some a lot of the stuff that we talked about today is floating out there from, from coaches and our clients that, that help us by producing their own content, you know, and tagging us. And we're able to share that with you. So, IT, as always, man, thank you for your extra insight. Thank you. Thank you for always having me. I guess <laughs> I'm not banned from the uh, podcast yet. Not yet. We'll keep bringing you back. <laughs> and thank you all for joining us. Hope you, uh, you learned a little bit more about volleyball team training today. Go out. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.